Good morning, lovely people. Welcome to another weekly vlog, or a weekly vlog even. Not even quite a weekly vlog because I'm starting it on Tuesday. A few days vlog. Let's call it a few days vlog. <laughs> I'm filming this on Tuesday. Let me just think about where I'm going. I'm not going that way. Force of habit going that way but I'm going the other way this morning <laughs> um, I'm filming this on Tuesday after bank holiday Monday what a glorious glorious bank holiday weekend we had it was so so lovely weather wise so nice to sit outside and have some proper hot weather um, what did everybody else do on the bank holiday did you all have a nice time did you do anything special ours was quite quiet we what did we do? Went to a car boot sale, bank holiday Monday. Where Ashley got jobs done around the house and garden. I did a little bit of work over the weekend because I've been away at the back end of last week with my friend Faye, who's my best friend. We go away every year for our birthdays. I've talked about that before on here. Um, what else? I think that was about it. We had some nice meals and we had a barbecue and yeah, just a quiet, fairly family-ish time really just the three of us so it was a nice weekend anyway it felt very battery recharging and oh also I watched the series um I think it was a viewer recommendation actually I can't remember who recommended it so let me know if it was you and thank you very much it's on iPlayer and it's called years and years and it was absolutely brilliant it's a six-part series and I binge watched that over the weekend sitting on the balcony with a gin and tonic which was very nice um yeah, really, really good series. One of the best things I've seen on TV for a long time. Very thought-provoking, sort of a um, little bit dystopian, a little bit family drama. Difficult to categorise, really, but well worth a watch. Um, still on iPlayer at the moment, so yeah. Right, so as I said, it's Tuesday. This week is my birthday week. It's my birthday on Thursday. I'm going to be 51. I'm not sure that's a cause for celebration or not, um, but the alternative is not good. So I'm guessing it is a cause for celebration, so that's good. <laughs> um, not got any massive plans on my birthday. Usually we have sort of a day out. Of, I think we're going out for lunch, but um, normally we do a bit of a day out, family day out for my birthday. But um, we've got some friends coming over from Australia or, who are over from Australia for a family wedding. And they are coming down to uh, on Friday, which is the day after my birthday, and they've invited us to go and stay with them in a sort of pub with rooms out in the South Hams um, in Devon. So that's what we're doing on Friday, so we're not having a big day out on that Thursday particularly, just going for lunch. Um, other than that, it's just a working week. I've had my hair cut short since I last filmed, although you might have seen the video of my hair, yeah, you'll see the video you'll have seen tomorrow which will be last Wednesday. Oh God, it's so complicated. Will be, um, I'll have my hair short in that as well. But yeah, I had it cut on Saturday. I really, really desperately needed it cut. So I am so pleased to have got it done. It feels so much better. Um, right, yes, today is just a bit of a worky day. I'm going out to do a few errands. I've got to pop to Poundland for a few bits. I've got to um, drop some stuff off at the charity shop, which will no doubt mean some charity shop shopping. Um, I've got to drop some parcels off. I've got to drop it into the post office. With, I'm just making sure that Ashley hasn't put that in the car for me. I really hope he has, otherwise I'm going to be a bit pissed off. Um, I'm not sure he has actually. Um, oh well, I digress anyway. Um, lost my thread now because I'm worried that my, po my post office parcel isn't in the car which is kind of annoying but it's not the end of the world because it doesn't actually need to be sent off today I just thought I would do it as I packed it all up but anyway I'm rambling so I'm going to disappear and come back to you a bit later it's half five I've had a change of top because I was very very hot it's just started raining actually which I'm not sorry about it's looking a bit flat isn't it Ron's just come in shouting for food. You shouting for food? <coughs> Are you shouting? Hmm? Oh, bless your heart. I'll give you something to eat in a minute. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Um, I've had a very busy day. 
quite productive never as productive as I want it to be of course but I do feel like I've got quite a lot done cleared the decks a bit trouble is with that is there's always so much more to do still isn't there have you opened your curtains today well, perhaps you should maybe think about it Boys, having a teenager home. So, huh. yeah, I've just literally sat at my desk all day apart from a half an hour at lunchtime when I read my book and ate something. Um, ugh, yeah, I feel a bit brain dead, really. So nice to know what is for dinner. I made a shepherd's pie over the weekend when I cleared the freezer out, which was part of my big decluttering thingy um video in fact i've lost the ability to speak apparently um yeah i've removed lots of mystery cooked meat from the freezer which turned out to be a mixture of lamb pork and beef and i made it into two big shepherd's pies and i saved one for tonight and it's such a nice feeling to know i've got a nice home cooked meal and i've only got to bung it in the freezer no bung it in the oven and it will be ready and have some peas with it so yeah it's nice to know that not to have to start cooking from scratch so that's what dinner is tonight excuse me oh dearie me um i need to drink some water i haven't drunk i have one glass of water this morning i think um i thought i would just, sorry i keep saying um i'm quite distracted aren't i i thought i would um go through some empties i've got a big thing basket of empties that I need to go through and I'll pull out some products that were good and tell you about them. Here is my great big basket. I feel like I've been saving these up for ages. This is one of Ashley's shower gels. You don't care about that do you? I love this stuff. Body Shop Vitamin E Hydrating Toner. Really nice. I always switch it into a spray bottle and use it as a really nice spritz for my skin. Definitely will be repurchasing that one. This, I think, came in one of my advent calendars last year. It's a serum. But it reminded me, weirdly, of... Do you remember a few years ago, YouTube... <laughs> a, few, a lot of YouTubers were using a men's aftershave balm as a primer. Apparently the ingredients were the same. Nivea one, I think it was. Reminded me of that. And not in a good way. So I definitely wouldn't use that again. I didn't really like it. Um... Tony and Guy Party Ready Volume Lotion. I really like that. I'm sure I will buy it again at some point. There's a Bath and Body Works um, Ultra Shade Body Cream there. That was lovely. That was, um, I think it was Watermelon Lemonade, that one. I can't remember, but I'm sure it was. Um, quite excited about the thought of being able to go to Bath and Body Works in New York when we go in December and not having to worry about um, luggage allowances for bringing everything back because of course we are flying out there and then coming back on the Queen Mary so quite excited about that I'm going to take a spare suitcase to fill up with Bath and Body Works candles don't tell Mr Matthews yet right this is the Poundland micellar water which I actually really like I think that's a nice little product I will be buying that one again that was a Jenny Glow perfume which was a Jo Malone dupe um, lime basil and mandarin really good but the last wasn't brilliant on it it was perfect perfect copy it smelled exactly the same as the original I've also got the blackberry and bay one over here and they're both really really good dupes but as i say the last wasn't brilliant but you i mean it was less than a tenner i think so you wouldn't expect the last to be brilliant it's a beauty pie primer which i will definitely buy again a bright bio infusion breathable primer i really liked that um makeup revolution hydrating fixing spray that was okay um it's a body shop english guard english dawn gardenia shower gel that was nice enough another beauty pie product that was a super active vitamin c capsules really liked those i think i will buy those again um olay complete bb cream i tend to use this as a primer and i would possibly buy it again as a primer sort of a tinted primer i liked that 
Um, oh, this was one of the things that came in my um, Korean beauty box last week. This is the by Etude House, which is quite a well-known Korean brand, and it was the blackhead strip. And it was the best blackhead strip I've ever used. You know how you can see what comes out, all the gunk that comes out of your nose? That was really good. In fact, I'm going to put that to one side because I want to see if I can track down some more and order some more. It was really good. So um, I'll stick a link to the video with that in down in the description box. And this was a night cream, uh, Marks and Spencer's from the, their formula range and that was really nice i really like i like this range a lot it's um age targeted they have different things for different ages and um this night cream it was particularly nice i liked that um uh, milani conceal and perfect foundation um as you can see i haven't quite finished it didn't love that one it was a bit thick and drying for me that one it's an ordinary serum foundation really like this i'm not brilliant at picking out my color so i tend to buy two or three and mix them to get the right color um, but i love that foundation another ordinary product the hyaluronic acid would well, definitely i need to do a hyaluronic acid uh, sorry an ordinary order actually for a few skincare bits and i will definitely be ordering some more of this it's very good nice moisturizing product that's a vaseline intensive hair hand cream which back in the day I used to use all the time and I just sort of bought it for old times sake really and I didn't really rate it, I didn't think it was brilliant. Um, a Vader B Curly Style Prep which I use for my hair, I really like that, we'll be buying that again at some point no doubt. That was a under eye brightening hydrogel patch from um, Soap and Glory can't remember using that whether I thought it was any good or not was, I always think these things are quite pleasant to use I can't remember if it did any good or not but I quite liked it um Brazilian bum bum cream that was like a body cream that came in the uh, one of the advent calendars it was just okay I wouldn't go out of my way to look for it again uh, this mane and tail hair shampoo and conditioner this is the conditioner didn't love it if I'm honest a miniature Emma Hardy Moringa, Moringa cleansing balm. I liked this a lot. I, I've gone through endless tubs of this stuff. Really like it. Um, and this is another favourite. This is the L'Oreal Smooth Sugars Glow Scrub. The smell of this is so gorgeous. It's the one with sugar in it. And it's just such a nice wake up, freshen, freshening scrub in the morning. And I use this term scrub fairly loosely. Oh, just a couple of lids, that's it. So yeah, I think I must have been collecting up my empties for a good long while looking at the amount I've got. So I'm going to go and recycle all of those and get the dinner out of the fridge and ready to go in the oven. And no plans for this evening really. I think we're just going to um, probably watch some Money Heist, which is our latest series on Netflix and um, have some dinner and reads all my book. Unexciting Tuesday evening really. Well good afternoon on wet rainy horrible Tuesday. Ooh, no Wednesday. Mm. Bank holiday's got me. I don't know what day of the week it is. My hair's looking a bit flat isn't it? Oh I've had a very productive day. I've got loads done today. Excuse me for yawning. Oh, I just got up from my desk. Need a good stretch and a cup of coffee, I think. Now, my next job was supposed to be going out to Tesco's to get something for dinner tonight. I was going to cook a recipe from my green roasting tin cookery book, which is over there. But I really, really don't want to leave the house in this weather. Really don't want to. I kind of feel like I'm going to have to. Because... I don't think we've got anything else to eat. I mean, I'm sure I could get something out of the freezer, but I've kind of had my heart set on at making this. Honey roasted root vegetable salad with blue cheese and spinach. I've got a celeriac that needs using up and a carrot. And I just thought this looked really, really tasty. So, mm, maybe I'll brave the rain. Maybe I will just nip out quickly. Just quickly. And, um... Yeah. Anyway, yes, I've had a good day. Got loads done. It's about ten past three. Have I said that already? I feel a bit scattered. And my cleaner's been in today, which is lovely. So the house is looking nice and tidy. Will that stayed at Charlotte's last night and hasn't come home yet today. So it's nice and quiet. Oh, God, 
I'm not even tired. I had a really good night's sleep last night. Just obviously lack of oxygen. God, I've left the window open in here and it's cold. What a difference two days makes, weather-wise. Do you remember I showed you that, in my favourites I think it was, the foot peel mask thing um, that um, exfoliates your feet that I got from Amazon and somebody told me in the comments on that that you can get the same thing that does the same job from Wilco's for less than a quid I think it was. Anyway, I've never managed to find that in my Wilco's so I was delighted yesterday in Home Bargains to find this one for, I think it was 79p. So if it works, that would be absolutely brilliant. So I think I'm going to give that a go a bit later on. It's film night tonight. Ashley and I do a film on a Wednesday night. But I'll talk more about that in another video. Oh, it's coming up soon. God, that's the third yawn I've done since I've been talking to you, isn't it? Right, I'm going to go and write a shopping list, go out to Tesco. And um, yeah, that's my plan for the next little while. <laughs> Honestly, sitting down in the afternoon is lethal. I sat down at about ten past four and I thought, oh, I'll just sit down for an hour. Mind you, it's not much longer than an hour. It's 25 to six. I've just got up. I watched a couple of YouTube videos and I read a little bit of my book and then Will came down and made me a very nice vanilla coffee. So I sat and drank that and I was in a messenger chat with some of the... Um, lady resellers on YouTube and we we're all just having a little chat on that. It's um, talking about kids and ironing shirts and eBay and just nice to pass the time of day really with them. Um, when you work by yourself it can be quite solitary so it's quite nice to have a supportive bunch of people and there's always someone to chat to in there so that's very nice. Um, right, I'm in the kitchen. And I'm going to start doing some cooking. I'm going to do this recipe, the honey roasted root vegetable salad with blue cheese and spinach, which looks absolutely yummy. But I did get, I bumped into William outside Tesco's, he was just coming home. Um, and I told him what we were having for dinner and he turned his nose up. So I did get some like KFC chicken frozen chicken type stuff to go with it for him and ashley because they wouldn't really consider this a proper dinner so i'm gonna just have this and i got them some sort of fried chicken that goes in the oven type stuff so i'm going to make this it looks absolutely delicious and what else was i, I was going to talk to you about something else so oh this would probably be a good time to talk to you about keto a, never had such a big response as I had on my keto video. Um, never had so many comments on an individual video. So thank you to everybody who commented on that one. Um, I have got round to replying to them all now. As I said in that one, as I replied to lots of the comments, I decided that it wasn't for me and I pretty much stopped it then and there as I made the video. I, I decided that I wasn't going to be able to sustain it and um, I had joined some Facebook groups, some keto Facebook groups, um, which were actually very useful in terms of people would answer questions and... Um, yeah, recipe ideas, that sort of thing, and all of that kind of stuff. However, they were almost cult-like in the level of <laughs> belief that of the members in there that keto was right and every other way of eating was completely wrong. And um, it, it just wasn't a nice feeling. It was very sort of evangelical too evangelical for me really and when i left them the groups i just felt like a weight had been lifted off my shoulder i hadn't realized until then how badly they were how negative they were making me feel about it and um yeah they, they weren't great if i'm honest i didn't i didn't enjoy that aspect of it um so going forward I haven't really been, I've been keeping my carbs low, lower than normal, although we've had a few um, over the bank holiday weekend, it wasn't great. Um, my birthday's tomorrow and we're going out and then we're away with friends on Friday, so that's a bit of a write-off. Then I'm up at my brother's for a barbecue next week, and so it goes. Um, 
But yeah, my plan is, what I have been doing is, I'm still doing the 16 8 intermittent fasting, which is basically, you don't eat for 16 hours, and I, I, I'm not a breakfast eater anyway, by nature, I've never particularly loved breakfast, so I don't find that any hardship at all. At the weekends I did have breakfast, I have had breakfast, but not first thing in the morning at all, so uh, my eating window is sort of 12.30 till about 7, generally or sometimes 1, one thirty, um, depending on what time I finish in the morning and what time I have lunch. But yeah, that's what I've been doing with that and keeping carbs low as well, um, but just in not such a structured and full-on way and trying to eat healthily. I think that's the only way forward, really. Um, so yeah, so that, I just wanted to update you guys on that situation. It looks as though it's going to rain again. I did get out of Tesco's. I can't remember if I spoke to you since I was debating whether or not I was going to Tesco's. Anyway, I did go. Right, I'm going to stop waffling on and go and get on with cooking this dinner. And if I remember, I'll show you what it looks like when I've done it. Right, all my prep is done. This is celeriac, carrot and parsnip, all chopped up with ginger, paprika and salt and olive oil. That's going to go into the oven in a roasting tin and then later on we add some blue cheese, some spinach and some honey. Um, that's after it's cooked and then I've also got some, the recipe said walnuts but I could only get a giant bag of walnuts so I got pecans instead. It doesn't say to toast them but I always like to toast them so they've just been lightly toasted a little bit. Um, and then I've got this box of southern fried chicken for the boys. Not all of it, obviously, because it looks like there's blooming loads in there. But um, need to put the oven on and get cooking. So this is what my vegetables look like. They've been drizzled in honey. Uh, sorry? Oh, any? Curly, then. Discussion about the parsley. Yeah, this is the vegetables. They've had honey drizzled on them and um, the nuts have gone in with them for the last five minutes as well. They are just cooling a little bit and then we're going to add in the spinach and the cheese. Give it a good stir and then add the dressing which is just basically red wine vinegar, extra virgin olive oil and salt and pepper. Not the prettiest presentation but I've got one little bit of chicken on there. <laughs> but um, yeah, um, that's what it looks like. It smells delicious. Good morning, it's Thursday. The windscreen's very wet, the sun's shining, and today is my birthday. Happy birthday, me. Um, it's about nine o'clock. I'm just going to drop off my parcels. And oh, I've got this thing. This is a cable that Will's put into my car to, um, so I can listen to my phone. Listen to my, not listen to my phone. Listen to audiobooks or music or whatever from my phone and it connects to the aux thing but the aux thing is in the back ridiculously so the cable has to come through from the back to the front so the cable is just sort of hanging there twisted up around here. I really need to find a better alternative for where to store it because it's annoying me quite a lot <laughs> every time I get in and out of the car. I'm going to end up tripping my tripping on it because it goes down to the floor at the back there, or um, strangling myself with it. One of the two. <laughs> One of the two. Anyway, yeah, I'm just going to drop off my parcels. Then I've got a few jobs and stuff that I need to do this morning, and then lunchtime we are off out for lunch to Totnes, which is a town about six or seven miles away I guess for pizza for lunch not necessarily pizza it's a place that does particularly good pizzas but it does other things as well it's a bit of a family tradition that we go to this particular place for birthday lunches in our family or birthday dinners um, it's one of our long-standing favorites so that's the plan for today I got some lovely birthday presents. I will show you them a bit later on. Got some money from my mum and dad. Oh, also lovely box, um, Marks and Spencer Summer Beauty Box. It's got some really nice bits in, which I will show you. But um, yeah, I got some money from my mum and dad and I want to spend that on a pair of really nice black leather knee-high boots for the winter. Um, I actually spent some birthday money from them about 
10 years ago, I'm wanting to say, maybe eight years ago, on my current black leather knee-high boots, which are lovely, really nice quality. Um, perfect heel for me. Um, not too high, not too low. Really like them, nice leather. And I've had them rehealed and resold more times than I can tell you. And they've just come to the end of their life. The leather has gone, it's so, it's gone over soft. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't stay polished for long enough. The top layer has sort of come off and um, yeah, they're, they're past their best, which is a real shame because I still absolutely love them. I would happily continue to wear them, but they're just, not really any good anymore so I am going to with regret move on from those and try and find a new pair so I thought I might do a little bit of online shopping this morning looking for something suitable for that although I'm not sure how much choice there will be as yet with winter boots perhaps I'll be better waiting for a little while Let's wait and see good morning it's Friday I'm just trying to find somewhere to balance you where you're not going to fall off I think Will that do? Will that work? Yes, it will. It's Friday. I meant to take my camera out yesterday and film um, when we went out for my birthday. And I completely forgot to put my camera in my bag. So I didn't film anything. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I had a lovely birthday. Really nice day. Went out with Ashley and William. We had a great day. Um went out for food and I did some charity shopping and they were very patient when I did some charity shopping and it was generally a really nice day. Um, today, however, or last night, I had the worst night's sleep I can remember having for ages. I think I saw every single hour on the clock apart from six and I feel absolutely bloody exhausted this morning. And it's not like I can have a bit of a power nap later either. I'm um sorry, I'm meant to be putting on my makeup while I talk to you. That is a priming, aqua priming base from Makeup Revolution, which I'm actually quite liking. Not sure how good it is as a primer, but it's very nice and refreshing when you put it onto your face. Anyway, um yeah, I can't even have a power nap today because I'm going to meet my sister-in-law for lunch at 12.15, just an early lunch, just to catch up with her as she's down in Devon visiting her parents. And then I'm, we're going to meet friends from Australia, I think I might have mentioned this already, and going away to a pub with rooms for the night. Um, so perhaps I might get a little... Um, nap in this afternoon because I honestly feel exhausted already and it's only 10 to 10 in the morning so I could quite cheerfully I tried to have a bit of a lie in this morning but I was awake by half seven I couldn't go back to sleep so god I really do feel absolutely exhausted I feel headachey with exhaustion I don't often feel like that but why can't I get this earring into my blooming ear there we are anyway excuse me the state of me, hair and makeup, I'm just about to do now. I got this for my birthday from Ashley Anastasia Beverly Hills a Sultry Eye Palette, which I have wanted for ages and haven't bought myself. I bought myself a other Anastasia palette, which is called Soft Glam, isn't it? I see, just remembered. This one, which I bought when I went up to London with my mum in January, and I absolutely love it. It's really pretty colours. It's just a pleasure to use. And I've wanted this one because this one's more cool toned. Um, again, quite neutral colours apart from that pink up at the top there. Um, I wanted this one because it's cool toned and um, I got it and I'm just about to have a go with it. So I'm really excited about seeing what it's like. There's some very sparkly colours and some really nice matte colours as well. Um, oh, 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 oh. So this morning, it's, as I said, it's 10 to 10. I'm really struggling. I might have to have coffee and a piece of toast. I don't often have breakfast. In fact, I hardly ever have breakfast anymore. Um, but I just, oh God, I just feel like I need something to get me going this morning. Anyway, while I'm talking to you, let's put some makeup on. Um, yeah, so I need to, this morning before I go out, I really need to film a video for Sunday. Um, this video you'll be seeing next Wednesday. Um... And I also need to get ten listings, new, new, the ten new listings done on eBay today. And then, thank goodness, it's the weekend, so I expect we'll come home 
from the pub that we're staying at after breakfast tomorrow and then I can make some plans for the weekend. I mean, I could put off filming this video that I need to do until tomorrow, but then I always feel a bit pressurised if I don't film it till Saturday afternoon and it's got to go up Sunday morning. Not it's got to, but it's due to go up Sunday morning, so I'd rather get it filmed today, really. So, yeah, 10 new listings and a video to film in the next couple of hours before I go out. I've just packed up all my parcels, so that's good. Um, so it's just coming up to two o'clock, I think. I'm not going to lie, I feel absolutely, yes, that's my unmade bed. I feel absolutely exhausted. So tired, all I want to do is crawl into bed. Just got back from lunch with my sister-in-law. That was really nice, nice to catch up with her. Um, God, I can't even string a sentence together. And now I'm thinking that I need to pack for tonight. I think we're meant to be leaving about half two. I might actually just spend 20 minutes lying on my bed watching a YouTube video because I'm hanging. I'm so, so tired. I did manage to get my video filmed this morning and I did manage to get eight new eBay listings up and dropped off parcels and packaged parcels, not in that order. So that's all good. I was oh, just going to show you this makeup bag. I would order this off Amazon and... I've been really wanting a new makeup case for going abroad. This not for one night. This isn't, but you know, for a longer holiday. And um, do you remember I bought that drawstring Primark thing, black one, just before I went on holiday last time for my makeup? And it was absolutely rubbish. It it didn't close properly. The strings were all wrong. Honestly, I couldn't recommend that less. It just really didn't work for me. I don't know if it was the amount of makeup I had in it or what, but it just, it wasn't good. And luckily it wasn't very much money, so it wasn't the end of the world. But yeah, I've just ordered this one off Amazon. I can't remember what I paid for it. I'll link it in the description box below if anybody's interested. I rather like the marble look. And I like it because this little compartment up here, you can put your brushes in and then that Velcro's down there. And then you've got another zip compartment behind that like for eye palettes or whatever and then all of these little sections come out like that and can be changed however you want them which I thought was great so I was thinking this would be quite good for makeup and skincare for holidays and it's not it's about 10 inches wide I think um so yeah I'm quite pleased with that I'm gonna have a play with that and see what I can get in it and use it for my next holiday and um yeah, I'll let you know how I get on with it. But now I'm going to sit down on my unmade bed and do nothing for 20 minutes. This is where we stayed last night. It's not so nice not in the sunshine, but it was quite sunny yesterday. Geese and ducks over there. Not quite so attractive. Needs a bit of refurbishment. All a bit grubby and not that pleasant inside, but um, nice to catch up with our friends anyway. Well, excuse my ridiculous hair. <laughs> really needs a wash. And I just haven't got around to doing it yet. I might do that in a little while actually. It's Saturday afternoon. Had a nice night away with our friends last night and now I've vlogged a little bit outside this morning. Didn't do anything else. I don't like picking up the camera when we're with friends, really. I think it's quite intrusive into other people who don't, you know, they don't want to be on YouTube, do they? So I do find it a little bit difficult, but really nice to catch up with them. Nice night away. Didn't sleep well, so came home. And I'm not going to lie, I went to bed for two hours when I got home. It's now about four o'clock, something like that. That was a good guess, wasn't it? Look, it's exactly four o'clock. Um, and I think I'm going to sit down and do, I've been sort of pottering the last few hours, just getting bits of tidying up and doing bits of pieces that need doing. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I've got a few bits that need ironing. I'm going to go and do those. And then I'm going to have a shower and sit with my feet up and do my foot mark, foot, not foot mask, the foot peel thing that I bought the other day. I think I showed you, did I not? It's, yeah, this one. It was 79p or 89p in Wilco's. 
so I'm going to give that a go and I'll catch up on um, this week's Real Housewives which I've not seen yet, the Orange County one and a bit of YouTube and I might finish my book as well so I think I have to do that for how long does it say 90 minutes so yeah um, I was going to show you this as well, this birthday present for my mum and dad obviously which is lovely, it's the Master Spencer's Summer Beauty Box and it's got all sorts of nice bits and pieces and it's got a rhodial um, sheet mask which is nice and the firming eye gel mask and why? Because in their end of season summer sale um, they have a 600 quid pond liner which fits exactly into my second tier of my We haven't got a pond. Line. No we've got a pond, it's ready for a pond and it's 100 quid. Oh. And it will save me hours and hours and hours making a pond with a pond liner. Excellent. You're going now, are you? Yes. Okay. Do I want to go to Trago Mills on a See Saturday afternoon? Off. Let me just think about that for a moment. That'll be a firm no, but thank you for the offer. Um, do you want me to go with you? No, I don't. I don't want to go and buy a pond line. I can't think of anything worse. Anyway, yes, lots of lovely bits and pieces in here that I'm looking forward to trying out. And, um, yeah, that was a nice little gift. Right, I'm going to go and do my ironing and then sit down for an hour and a half with my foot peel on and relax. Looking forward to that. Good morning, it's Sunday. I'm having a bit of a worky day today. Just getting ready for the month ahead, the week ahead. Busy old week coming up. When aren't they busy? Let's ask ourselves. I've birthed some, some of my birthday flowers I've got there. Just sitting there. And I can't tell you how happy it makes me look at to look at them every time I glance over and see them. I must put flowers in my bedroom more often. I know I've got my fake flowers over there. There, there, there. <laughs> But, but yeah, I don't often put real flowers in my bedroom, so I ought to make an effort to do that on a more regular basis, I think. Right, I only picked up the camera to finish off this vlog. Um, I'm going to publish this on Wednesday, so you'll see it Wednesday. I hope everybody's having a good week. Um, look out for Sunday. We've got Marks and Spencer come shop with me. I'm excited to film that. I'm going to do that tomorrow. So, um, yeah. Anyway, right, I'm off. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.